Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be creating art on this masonite board with the popular Posca pens. I bought this set on Amazon. This is just the basic eight color bright set in a medium point. The material that I'm gonna paint on is this masonite board. And masonite is just a type of hardboard, so it's compacted wood fibers all together, creating a really hard surface. And as you can see, I gessoed it to create kind of a tooth on the top there and just the paint will adhere a lot better to it. So my thought process here is making it kind of like a concrete or cement look to create some graffiti art on top. Um, I've experimented with some graffiti in the past, but you know, I'm definitely not a graffiti artist. I'm excited to give it a try though. This is my Liquitex Basics acrylic paint in heavy body acrylic. So it's a heavier, thicker paint that goes on quite opaque and it's in the color blue gray. So I'm gonna paint that real quick. Okay, so now that this is all painted, we can now move on to sketching out. And I'm just gonna do a quick speed through of my thought process for sketching out my ideas here. I'm just taking my pencil here and blocking out some large caps. And from there, I'm filling in around them, kind of creating a cool graffiti look, kind of planning out my composition for when I sketch it onto my masonite board. The fun thing about this project was just kind of an experimenting as I went along. And I had an idea, I wanted to create the lovely day, the two words here, really like this thing, and it's encouraging. I kind of want to do a cutesy graffiti. So we're just going with that thought here and seeing what happens. Once I feel like I got a good sketch, I started blocking in my outlines. I did a light sketch as you can see before on the board, just kind of based loosely on my thumbnail that I did. And I'm just taking my black marker here and outlining everything. The nice thing about these Posca pens is they're completely opaque. So if you make any mistake, you can always cover over it, which is amazing. I was so thankful that they covered. As you can see here, I began experimenting with a gradient lettering type, which as I look back now, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was, but I kind of just gave up and went straight for that flat, bold electric blue on the top and then a navy blue on bottom. And I'm so glad I did. It would have just been a lot of work creating that gradient and I was trying to mix it with water. Anyway, just moved on here and as I impatiently waited for the gradient to dry so I could color over it, I focused on my flat color letters. After covering up this gradient here and realizing that yes, it will need another coat, I moved on to the drop shadow. I took my black Posca here and created a shadow to the left and bottom of each letter. This creates a really stunning, dramatic look, and this is when it really started popping and looking like it could possibly be graffiti. Okay, so now that all of our colors are blocked in, we are moving on to the fun part. I just take the color of the opposite word and begin creating like these little bubbles. And on the bottom, because it's light on dark, it's almost like a highlight, which turned out really cool. Then I moved on to the darker blue on top of the lovely. And this was so fun and I realized that I really liked the look of it. So I went back and brought it up a little further on the letter to create a more dramatic effect.
then after we were done with the bubbly texture, I created like a highlight with some lines to the day and then almost like a reverse highlight to the top with that darker blue. Now I come to a really fun part where I grab my white Posca pen to create an outline around the whole thing. This creates a really great contrast and I just keep it loose so there's really no harsh edges here. Okay, so after the white is all done, I grab my favorite color, pink, which this Posca pink is quite poppin'. I create some fun little details of a peace sign and a heart, which I will kind of make bolder as I go along later. Then I start by adding these little bubbles all around. And at this point, I kind of had no idea where I was going around the outside, but it became more clear as I kept switching colors. And it kind of made this bubbly, um, splattered look which I thought turned out super creative. Okay, so I'm slowing down the process just a tad here to show you these two Sharpie paint markers. Since my Posca markers have such a thick tip, I decided to switch to this thinner detail Sharpie water-based marker, which I also love. They are just as opaque, but they're just a little more detailed to create some special highlights and details around that I just needed a thinner marker for. Then I grabbed the black to outline the heart and the peace sign, and it was really starting to pop here. Personally, I think it's like my favorite part when I get to add these little details at the end that really just make the illustration complete. I'm so happy with how this came out. It was kind of an experiment with the graffiti, and I think it turned out super cute, and the Posca pens were amazing, so make sure you check out in the description box because I will have them linked down there, and also the Masonite board. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this process. I sure did. I would be so grateful if you left a like down below and make sure to subscribe because I am planning on some more creative content soon. Thanks and I hope you all have a lovely day. See you next time.